So we've been caravanning now for seven years. I think this would have been our eighth year, wouldn't it? And over the years, or certainly over the last two years or so, we've really deliberated, haven't we, about changing to a motorhome. Yes, uh, many times over the past few years, we, we've thought about getting a motorhome. In fact, before we even started caravanning, our initial thought was to get a motorhome, was, wasn't it? It was, but, the, the, but they were so expensive and we'd never tried caravanning or motorhoming even tenting I mean we've never been camping have you you're not one for I'm not a fan of tenting or camping no. sorry to those of you who are but it's just not for me <laughs> so over the last few years um, we've actually been looking quite seriously at changing to a motorhome having as we said having caravan for so long yeah. um, and we've got so close I mean we, we if it wasn't for you <laughs> I would have bought probably two of them because we were that close and we, then, we were and um, we said, or I said, okay, let's not rush into this. Let's I go. Had, let's, I had the pen in my hand. Yeah, didn't let's I? go I was home. Sign. Let's think about this overnight. Yeah. And then once you've had that time, just to reflect and ponder, um, we decided at that time the answer was no. We were not going to change. Yeah, it just wasn't quite right at the time. As at I the shall time, say, yeah. But we, we've got many friends um, who we've met through our caravanning yeah, journeys and absolutely. experiences. Um, who've got motorhomes and we've we've been in theirs, saw, seen theirs yeah. and towards the end of last year we felt for us it was the right time we did. to change. We did, we did. So yes. uh, we saw this caravan, uh, this motorhome, sorry, um, fell in love with it and uh, I think it's time that we uh, show them around. Yes, let's show you around our new motorhome. Well, she's not brand new but new to us, new to motorhome. Us. So, our auto trail tracker FB. Now the Auto Trail Tracker FB will uh, has a mass in service of a 3210 and a gross vehicle weight of three and a half tons. Now you do have the option to upplate it. Now that's just a purely a paperwork exercise, uh, and you can upplate it to 3650, giving you an additional 150 kilos of payload. Very nice. Now, three things that you need to bear in mind should you want to upplate it is um, firstly, you want to ensure that you're allowed to drive over three and a half tons, check your UK driving license. Secondly, is um, because it's going to be a heavier vehicle, the stopping distance is going to be slightly longer. Um, on the motorway, you are only permitted to drive at 60 miles an hour as opposed to 70. Uh, and the last thing to remember if you do upplate it, and this one I, I can't work this out. So if you upplate it to 3650, making the vehicle heavier, heavier on the road, um, your road tax actually goes down. I, I don't understand. It goes down about 120 pounds. So uh, this particular vehicle has been upplated to 3650, and our road tax on this is actually cheaper than what it was on our previous two tow cars. Um, so something to bear in mind. Now, starting at the back, you have a high level brake light uh, and just below that you have a reversing camera. Uh, on this particular vehicle, we've, uh, well, we didn't have it installed. It was um, installed previous to us buying it. Uh, there's the Fiamma bike rack, cycle rack. Um, not something that we would use. However, you could, if you didn't want to put a bike on it, you could uh, actually get a rooftop box from Halfords or something like that to give you extra storage and put it on there. Behind here you have the spare wheel cover, um, behind this cover you have the spare wheel. So moving to the side um, you have the toilet cassette which is here and for the eagle eyed amongst you there is no um, flush tank on this one that's because the toilet is actually um, used, the flush is actually taken from the freshwater tank. Just below us here there's two valves, now this is your freshwater draining valves. The one on the left, if you open that, that will, re that will release up to three quarters of the water in the tank. Um, you would use that, so leaving about, about 25, 30 litres of water in the tank. Um, now you'd use that if you were going maybe from site to site and you wanted to leave some fresh water on board for uh, the toilet, if you want a comfort break or water or washing up, whatever. Uh, if you want to open the tank, empty the tank totally. You would just empty, open this valve here. Um, and that will clear the tank out in its entirety. Moving along here, you have an external shower point. 
Now this is great if you've got pets, uh, they get themselves a bit muddy, or children, or Wellington boots, and you want to wash them off, just pop the shower in, and you've got hot and cold, so you can adjust it to hot and cold, and it'll wash away the dogs. Great. Nice feature. Did someone ask us once about washing their dog? We have an external shower. I think when we were caravanning. Over here, this is your plug-in for your electric hookup. And here... I forgot your man locker. I forgot the man locker. I to show people. Oh, sorry, this is the man locker. Forgive me, it's not <laughs> very clean. Uh, this is where everything that we need is just chucked in there. Uh, junk, but it's a great little locker. Yeah, totally self-contained, yeah. Um, also, just under here, this pipe here is your grey waste drainage. Under here, you have storage for quite a lot. I mean, we just use these storage containers, but you can see it goes back quite a long way. Uh, that's actually under the sofa in the lounge. Great. Moving along, this is based on a Fiat Ducato uh, chassis. The mirrors are folding, not electric on this one, uh, but our previous owner did put on these uh, mirror protectors, which highly recommend them, uh, preferably in white so people can see you, but they do fold in as well. Moving to the other side, you have your gas locker here. Um, the, we have two six kilogram bottles. Um, Auto Trail do state in their blurb that you can have one 13 kilogram and one six kilogram. We've just got two six. Uh, totally vented in there, so no worries about any gas escaping. The hatch will open upwards. I haven't unlocked this, but it just clips into there. Moving along, we have a, our, our fridge in here is a tall fridge, which we'll show you when we get inside. We, are, we have the Truma blown air heating system, uh, which is wonderful. For, I mean, we love it. We've actually had Truma, our first caravan was um, Aldi wet central heating. Then we had a Truma blown air. Then we went back to Aldi central heating and now we've gone back to Truma. So uh, we love the Truma, very, very quick, great. Over here, you have an external gas point so if you want to do barbecuing outside on a Kadak, uh, you can just plug in there. And here you have your water, your fresh water fill up point. Needs a bit of a clean, but it's uh, one of those round to it jobs. Now the fresh water tank is 130 litres. So that's if you're using a 40 litre aqua roll, that's like three litres, three aqua rolls. Um, really, really handy and um, we sort of fill up maybe once every two days and the waste tank will hold 80 litres. You also have another locker here which as I said clips up into there just make sure it's clipped up. Um, in here this goes under the bed and there's quite a lot of storage again we get our tables and chairs and everything else we can goes in there and you've also got a plug here external plug for um, if you're cooking outside and you want electricity. Also on this side you have a roll-out awning. Great, it's a manual one but it comes out a long way um, and it's fabulous on a day like today. Uh, should you want just a bit of sun or shade, if it's raining even, uh, brilliant. We love it, we use it a lot. You have a electric step which is operated from your key. Very nice. Uh, but you can also um, put the step out or in from inside, which we'll show you in a second. As soon as you start the engine, the step will automatically go in. So we've never actually put the step away because as soon as you start, the step goes in. Right, let's have a little look inside. Right, where do we start? <laughs> uh, grab rail as you come in. Uh, there are a couple of steep steps on this motorhome, so this grab rail is really handy uh, for when you're entering and exiting uh, the motorhome. Um, also, there's a little switch uh, that Keith mentioned earlier um, to put the step away, and you've got a couple of electric light sockets there. Uh, right, I think we'll start at the front of the motorhome in the cab area and work our way backwards. 
these front windows and the two side windows they've got the remis blinds on them um and they're like concertina blinds and they they join together in the middle and then pull down on each side window we've got two chairs at the front here uh these are, i think they're called captain chairs captain's chairs I think that's what they're called. Um, they swivel round, um, so when they're in the driving position, obviously they face the front and then they turn round. So you've got lovely spacious um, seating area in your lounge. Up here, we've got the television. Now this, um, it can, it's a satellite, it's DVD. Um, you could even use your fire stick on it, which we use every single night. And it literally just drops down. So when you're sitting on the sofas, you've got a really clear view, um, of, of your TV screen there. It's not in, in a difficult position as you get in some um, motorhomes. Up here above the cab, we have got four um, lockers. These are huge, these ones. Sorry, that's my little clock just to keep an eye on time. Two huge lockers over the cab here. Uh, this is mainly Keith's bits and pieces, all his camera equipment is toiletry bag and what have you and then in here we've just got dressing gowns um, throws and what have you um, to either side as well vacuum cleaner in that one and this one again just a, there's a little crate with all bits and pieces in there and just below that you've got this quite deep shelf actually um, just for keeping bits and pieces on um, not, that we, not that we put much on there. I must admit, when we had a caravan, um, we used to put out lots of little ornaments and trinkets and flowers and vases and things like that. With a motorhome, we tend not to, purely because you're on the move all the time and it would mean putting them away each time you, you go on the move. So I generally don't bother. But the one thing that we have got is the sweetie jar. <laughs> it wouldn't be... Keith and Michelle without the sweetie jar. No, no. <laughs> then on this side, um, you've got this really decent sized sofa and it's got a little backrest as well. If you're sitting with your back facing the telly, it's great to have this little support behind you. And we've also got a lovely little cocktail table here. This swivels uh, to any position you want it to. You can take it down. Um, there's just some little screws there that it slips out. Um, but yeah, great table. Uh, in the evening, we just position that there. And we have our larger table uh, that we put in the middle of the floor here for, for dining. Um, yeah, really, really, really good size. It's really adequate sizing for us. I mean, for a family of, I don't know. I don't know. You, you would you would get a lot of people in here. I say you'd get a lot of people. But there are only two seatbelts, so you can only have two people travelling. But if you had friends coming in um, or meeting up with people on site, then it's a great size. You can easily get three people on each sofa, and then you've got the two chairs. So a lot of um, seating in this motorhome. Just above this um, sofa, again two large cupboards. Oh look, we found the sweetie cupboard. There You'd we go. Like to, <laughs> Lots of crisps and cakes and peanuts, chocolates, um, just some bread, rolls, tea towels up there. Um, on this one, I did do, a, we, we did a video, um, oh, a couple of months ago, um, on how we store our crockery because we do like to use um, proper crockery as opposed to plastic or melamine or disposable plates and um, dishes and what have you um, we, we, we bought this foam and literally scored it and then the plates and dishes literally just slide in and th they don't move at all when we're driving we don't hear anything they're really really secure okay so that's that side um, on the opposite side again two large overhead lockers uh, you got your power supply unit in there, which can I just say is great because it's lovely to have uh, the power supply unit at eye level. Because if you ever need, you know, if you have a trip, which we've done a couple of times, where I've been cooking outside and you've uh, used your hair, or put the kettle on, or put the kettle on, um, it's just so easy just to flick the trip switch there. So that's great. Yeah. 
again another cupboard it's a bit of a junk cupboard i must admit in this basket here um it's all things that were in our previous caravan because we had three drawers it was full of all sorts of bits and pieces um so i've literally just thrown everything in that basket so i really need to go through that um but we've got placemats and coasters and things and there's um, plasters and things up here yeah. yeah it really needs sorting out also just to point out that on this i mean we didn't have it fitted but we have an external uh, wi-fi area which is an avtex area on the roof um that's just that one there which is something that we may upgrade at some stage but who knows it ain't broke don't fix it now underneath both these sofas there is a lot of storage if i can just show you there's one of these cables As you can see we've got a big crate in there and lots of shoes boots slippers uh, what have you and on this side this is the one that's got the locker that opens on the outside that Keith showed you earlier um, got three huge crates in there don't look at that that's our booze stash <laughs> and our water bottles I just wedged tea towels in there just to stop them rattling when we're driving along <laughs> what far too much booze <laughs> this is a four berth motorhome and these two sofas literally just pull together in the middle uh, you fold the cushions down and then you've got a double bed area here as well as the fixed double bed at the rear of the motorhome on one side of the van you've got a sliding window and on the opposite side you've got an opening out window um, all of them have these concertina blinds that go all the way up for privacy and then you've got the fly screen that pulls down um, if you want to if it's really warm and you've got your windows open or it, it just stops a bit of sun coming in to be honest uh, gives a little bit of shade and we've got these little spotlights you can move these into whatever position you want um, they create really nice mood light lighting at night when you're sitting down and above us we've got this beautiful panoramic roof window that lets so much light in it's absolutely beautiful that you, with that one you it does twist so you can open it up uh, again on a really warm day you just twist it here and then it opens up um, to create um, a bit more airiness in the motorhome right moving on in the door we've got an internal bin just here little flip top lid um, lovely large umbrella when you're out on your walks and also there's a really deep little shelf inside there in that, that little pocket there up here got a nice shelf decent sized shelf and a really really tall fridge freezer i absolutely love this because you get so much in it um as you can see it's really fully stocked um we've been away for a couple of days now and we've still got loads and loads of stuff in there a uh, little temperature gauge as well keep things to temperature and just going down here there is a little lock that you just pull over uh, like that for when you're traveling so that the door doesn't um, accidentally fly open at the top we've got a freezer really large freezer compartment uh, the majority of freezers that I've always seen in caravans and motorhomes they are quite tiny but this it's got two sections you've got a shelf dividing it uh, so lots of room for your frozen foods and there's even a little um, shelf in the door here where we keep the ice so lots and lots of room in there just above the fridge freezer we've got this it's beautiful I really like this it's it's quite retro in styling and a sort of bronzed finish to it it's little sliding doors that open up and in there we've just got again we really need to sort things out I've kind of just thrown everything in um, but we've got some plastic cups and jug and kitchen towel all, all sort of bits and pieces in there uh, and then once you've finished using it these doors just slide closed and they do not open when you're traveling along just above us here in the kitchen area we've got an omni vent um, which 
um, you can open it and then press either of these buttons um, that will either take the air out of the motorhome or bring cool air into the motorhome. I haven't used it yet, I don't know how efficient it is, but it'll be interesting to see how that functions further along down the line. It makes you wonder why would you want air brought in? Well, uh, yes, because uh, it's, if it's a warm day, <laughs> you're only going to get warm air that comes in. Yeah. So, as I said, we'll see later on throughout um, the year when it gets really, really warm. Right, moving over to the kitchen area now. It's a really good space again. I, I must say, I'm, I'm really impressed with the size of this motorhome. There's, there's lots of room to move around. Uh, above this um, this unit here, we've got um, another really big storage cupboard. All the glassware in there, mugs, cups and things. Again, um, we did um, a video on this, um, cutting out the little circles to put the glassware in because we do like proper glasses for our glass of vino at night. Um, a little um, rack there. Um, again, blinds on the window, good working area here. This actually lifts off and you've got a little hidey cupboard here. Um, I've just got a couple of topping boards um, and then that can literally go in there and it pops shut um, when you want to use your uh, draining board when you're washing up. Again, decent size, um, good water pressure, really hot water, uh, piping hot water, so that is really good. Um, what else? Microwave here. Um, tray, again, the tray, we always take that out when we're driving. I just leave it on the bed. Um, that's just practice that we something that we practiced when, when we had a, motor, uh, a caravan. Just below the microwave we have the oven and grill and on the hob we put this uh, chopping board that we purchased from IKEA. We don't actually use it as a chopping board, um, it just gives an additional work working area, workspace, um, you know, w when you're not actually using the hob. Well, obviously you have to take this off when you're using the hob. Um, it would be nice. I mean, I have seen it in some motorhomes and caravans that the lid um, of the hob is actually the same as the worktop on the kitchen units. It'd be nice if that was incorporated, um, but in this one it's not, so we just use this. So just move this out of the way and I will show you the hob. Okay, so you've got three gas burners there and one electric plate. You've got your gas, uh, sorry, you've got your grill in there with your grill pan. And then you've got your oven. Just pop the light on so you can see. Uh, now these ovens, they generally come with just one um, metal rack in there. We, we've bought an additional one. That, that's a universal one that, that fit, you know, you sort of pull the sides out or in to fit your particular oven. Um, and then we've got our trays on there. Um, purely because I uh, find that one rack really isn't enough when you're cooking. Below that, we have another little storage area here where I keep all our saucepans, frying pans and what have you. And I, I've just put some little anti-slip in between each saucepan just to prevent any noise. Uh, that's for the um, metal trays that are in the oven. Okay. Here we've got a lovely big storage cupboard. You've got a lock on it for when you're driving. And we've got our cutlery tray there. And then I've just got lots of little baskets um, with all our sauces and salt and pepper, food, you know, tin, tinned goods, sugar, jam, tea, coffee, whatever. And to the left of that, we have another cupboard just here, quite narrow, but it's great for storing uh, your bin liners, bin bags, uh, tin foil, cling film, dishcloths, wipes, fairy liquid, all that kind of thing. Okay. In this cupboard here, this is where the table is stored away. Um, it slides in re really easily. Uh, we bring it out, as I said earlier, 
every evening for, for when we're dining um, you can either have it inside the motorhome or if you've got an awning take it outside in the awning um, really good size table as well really like that and it just folds away in there and locks away moving on from the kitchen we then go into the bedroom area and here we've got the wardrobe this mirror we actually put on Keith put that on um, it's great for doing your hair, checking your clothes, what have you, and it creates an illusion of space in the motorhome. It's a really good sized cupboard again. Uh, you've got a hang rail at the top, and then you've got one, two, three sections for storing clothes and all your bits and pieces. I've got a couple of bags in there. Oh, that looks a bit grubby, what's that? I'll have to get a cloth out on that. Oh, well, there's also a light in there when you open the door. And then this is our bed, our beautiful, comfy French bed. Um, we, we've got a new duvet mattress on this, which is really, really comfortable. And to the right, you've got two shelves just here, which are perfect for putting all your bits and pieces on. You can see there's iPads, phones, Kindle creams, and you know, for cups of tea and what have you in the morning, glass of water at night. At the end, just here, we've got another TV. Um, the bracket was already there and that television came from our caravan. Um, be honest, haven't used it yet, um, but it's, you know, it's there if, if we need it. We've also got an electric point there, a, a socket, where I can plug in um, for a hairdryer, hair straighteners, um, anything like that. We've also got um, a privacy curtain in this motorhome. If Keith could just step back a little bit, I'll show you. Uh, got a rail up here, and then when you want to get changed, to save closing all the blinds and anyone seeing you getting changed, you literally just pull this across, and it's great. Um, you can just get changed in private. Again, lots more storage over the um, bed. I'll just show you very quickly lots and lots of storage in there and again in these ones here so i can't stress enough how much storage there is in this motorhome we were a bit worried initially that there wouldn't be enough um storage space but we've got loads we've got more than enough um also under the bed um, you, you saw that from outside, so this literally just lifts up like that and, and you, you, know, you can access the bed from inside the motorhome as well as outside. Above us we've got a hecky roof light uh, that opens all the way up and also um, like all the other windows um, you've got a fly screen and a concertina blind that you pull across for night time. This is the washroom, which is literally beside the bed. Um, in here, you've got um, a decent sized basin. Um, you're set for toilet. That swivels to whichever position you want to, you know, whichever one you find comfortable. You may want to move it when you're having a shower in the evening. Uh, toilet roll holder. I've got my little elastic band on there for when we're driving, just to wrap around the toilet roll so it doesn't unravel. Um, what else? Oh yeah, decent sized cupboard in there. And also we've got our magnifying mirror, um, which we've covered in many, many videos before. It literally, it's a stick on twist and lock uh, and it's got a little light on it, uh, which is great um, if, you know, you're short sighted uh, for a lady, if you want to do makeup, for gents, for shaving, uh, if you wear contact lenses, whatever, that, that's really, really handy to have. The mirror, there's a little switch here that lights up uh, the mirror. Uh, again, we've got a hecky roof light uh, opening window here, which floods this room with light. So it's, it's really, really good. And you've got another cupboard here for all your bits and pieces um, to store in there. Then we go through to the shower. Again, a decent sized shower. As I said, I would normally twist that toilet seat uh, the other way to access the shower because I won't lie, it's a bit tight in here. It's, you know, 
you, you, you need to breathe in <laughs> when you're coming into the shower or the well, wash room. Um, but yeah, great size shower, um, detachable shower head there, and also a little storage unit there. And again, we've got the twist and lock swivel um, storage unit there. Also, we have this um, little drop down hanging bar that is really good for hanging um, wet clothes or towels, whatever on there. Um, also, we put three um, little hooks up here just for hanging additional items. It does come with a towel rail there and also a double hook on the back of the bathroom door. So that is Belle, our auto trail tracker. FB, yeah, French bed. We absolutely love this motorhome. Uh, really, really adore it. It's a, as Michelle said, the bathroom is probably the only thing I would change, if at all. But you know, it, it, as we said at the start, it's about compromising. Yeah, yeah, that, that that's very true. I mean, I, I wouldn't change it just because of the bathroom. It, no. it's, it's a case of adapting and yeah. you know finding your way around it. I mean, the more times we use this motorhome, the more we'll become familiar yeah, I mean, with the way things, the way yeah. things go. Yeah, we absolutely love it. I, 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 I admitted to say as well, it does have an 80 watt uh, solar panel on the roof, so uh, in the summer it will charge the leisure battery and the uh, vehicle battery alternatively. Uh, yeah. Apologies for that one, missed that. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. A little look round our bell. Um, yeah, well, we, we've absolutely loved um, the short time that we've had in her so far yeah. and we are really really looking forward to more adventures more experiences and hopefully sharing them with you along the way absolutely i think on that note we shall say thank you so very much indeed for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye thank you bye bye now bye bye